Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to film a video that's been requested a couple of times and it is how I refresh my curly hair. And I've got to be completely honest with you, I don't do anything to my hair um, post wash day to sort of maintain my curls. I literally don't have time to do that so I just leave it and they just sort of get looser as the days go on but they sort of remain pretty frizz free. But I will show you what I did at the very beginning of my curly girl journey to refresh my hair as the days go on because I did do that at the start and to be honest with you if I had more time now I would still do that. So obviously this is day one, this is uh, wash day and I just washed my hair in the shower. I'll take my clips out actually so you can get the full, full picture of how my hair is looking. And then I will come back tomorrow and show you how I style it on, or how I would style it on day two to refresh the curls. Okay, so this is day two. This is how my hair's looking. I literally just took it out of um, my hairband. And if I'm being perfectly honest with you, um, this would probably be like my most important tip, if you see what I mean, to sort of keep your curls looking good over a few days is to sleep with it in, um, I just put it in, I throw my head upside down and I tie it in a really high um, ponytail, kind of like a pineapple style, and it just looks ridiculous and it just sort of flops on the top of your head, but it, what that does, it just um, maintains the volume in your hair because all the roots are sort of lifted, but the ends, the curls, aren't um, touched. And then if you really want to, you can, um, put your hair then in like a silk t-shirt or um, a, t a silk scarf or um, satin and that then further protects your hair because it's not sort of rubbing against your pillow but I don't tend to do that anymore. So as I said before I really wouldn't do anything to my hair ordinarily I would just leave it like this um, but what I will do for the purposes of this video is show you how I would refresh them if I wasn't happy with how they look sort of thing. So I have filled up this little spray bottle with water and I would just give my hair a good spritz. Nothing too much, just to sort of rehydrate. Give it a little scrunch in. And then if there was any frizz, I would literally just take my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the Conditioning Shine Gel. I actually prefer the um, frizz, is it frizz defense? It's like the this one, but in the green bottle. That's my absolute favorite for getting rid of frizz, but this is like the, the kind of one I have on rotation at the moment. So I'm just gonna use this one up before I think about repurchasing the other one. So I'm going to tip my hair upside down and just give it another good spritz. But like I say, most of the hard work is really done on wash day. And if you get wash day right, you're pretty much set for the rest of the week. Okay, so now we're a little bit damp. I'm going to take my shine gel. Literally just that amount, not a lot at all. And I will just scrunch it in. Try not to get my hair in my lip gloss. To be honest, 
honest with you, what I'm doing here is I'm just sort of redefining the curls. Um, and that is just personal preference. Like, I don't mind anymore the look of my curls sort of just dropped out a little bit. When I was first starting my journey, I was obsessed with like definition. Um, but I think that was because my hair was much, much shorter. So if the curls weren't defined, then it kind of just looked a little bit messy and frizzy. But yeah, now my hair's longer, I don't really have that problem. So then once the gel is in, you can leave it to dry, air dry naturally, which was probably the best idea if you're looking to avoid heat on your hair at the moment. Or you can give it a quick blast with the diffuser. I will diffuse it quickly now just to show you the sort of end result. So that is the finished hair. I don't think there's like that drastic of a difference to be honest. I think if you're working with much more damaged hair then you will see a not noticeable difference when you refresh it. And also if you've got much curlier the hair than I have. But as I say it's all about just adding a little bit more definition back in. So I'll see you tomorrow for day three. Hey guys, day three hair here. So I'm going to take my... Ow hair tie out looking quite a bit flatter now so we're going to repeat the process that we did for day two I'm just going to um, take my glasses off so it doesn't get all wet quickly diffuse it and then I will show you the end result and this is the finished result much much more defined and quite a bit of volume as well so yeah I hope this uh, video has helped you if you wasn't sure how you should refresh your hair obviously this is just how I do it I probably don't do it right at all but this is just what works for me but yeah I hope you're all doing really well guys and take it easy and I'll see you in my next video bye